Hi guys, uh, I'm Frank Cho and I am testing my new camera out. Uh, so uh, bear with me if there's a lot of uh, hiccups or stuff like that. So anyway, um, today I'm going to show you how to ink. Uh, so let's get to it. So this is the uh, Power Girl, not Power Girl, Power Princess uh, cover that I'm uh, finishing up for Marvel. So. I'm going to show you how to ink in, uh, uh, in that Franklin Booth style, that, uh, um, that intense inking style. So I am using, uh, I'm using uh, Micron, three sizes. This will be mainly for the, the dark areas, and these two are the light areas. Uh, so you'll see what I mean. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you a quick few minute demonstration of how I ink. Uh, as you can see, everything is pretty much penciled. Uh, this is how tight I go, or should I say how loose I, I pencil. At this point, I really don't care about the, uh, the lines. Uh, I care more about the, uh, the tone, the light and shadows. So with my 05 nib, I'm going to do all the black areas, and you'll see. Alright, so you really need to focus as you can see I really didn't map out the uh, the lines how the lines is gonna um, gonna go I'm basically uh, going by uh, light and shadow So I am focusing on all the dark parts. So this is kind of weird for me because I'm actually standing up uh, to ink this because the camera is set up that way. It's just kind of kind of high up. So what we're trying to do is. Uh, to do essentially uh, what I'm doing here on that side. I usually have like music blasting in the background or or the TV on. Um, I actually listen to a lot of uh, TV shows uh, when I'm drawing this. When I'm drawing essentially. But since I am doing a demo, none of the... Uh, it's actually quiet here so it's kind of a little weird. I'm pretty sure you guys are asking what happens if I screw up. Uh, well, if I screw up, then I am shit out of luck. So again, you really need to focus. So essentially, I follow the general rule of light and shadow. So um, the uh, the bottom part, I go with the thick nib, and the top part, I will go with the uh, the thin nib. 
you'll see uh, you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. So this style of inking was pioneered, made popular by uh, Franklin Booth uh, back in the uh, turn of the century. Um, this style actually happened by mistake. So Franklin Booth uh, was a gifted artist and he loved uh, the black and white the black and white reprint uh, the art of that time and uh, because of the limited technology um, they basically the the artwork was engraved essentially and so um, so the, the the artist would draw it and the engravers would engrave it make plates out of it and to re for the reproduction purpose so essentially uh, Franklin Booth was copying all these engravers. He, he thought they were hand drawn, not realizing they were all engravings. Uh, so that's why he developed his unique uh, technique. Uh, which is actually fascinating uh, technique. Because I remember the first time I saw this technique, um, it was through uh, Bernie Wrightson's Frankenstein. And uh, and Bernie was talking about uh, how he was inspired by Franklin Booth. So I did some digging and came across a bunch of Franklin Booth stuff. And, uh, and I was just blown away by it. Um, because uh, I was just amazed at the... Uh, just, just the sheer poetry of the line. Um, and uh, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, uh, J.C. Call fans out there who is another fantastic uh, artist from that same time period but I thought J.C. Call was a little bit too chaotic for my taste um, Franklin Booth actually kind of uh, was more to my uh, kind of a uh, anal retentive neat freak uh, uh, personality see as you can see the light is coming this way so all the stuff in the bottom is dark line and all the stuff on the top is will be thin lines As you can see, I don't, I didn't have anything mapped out. I'm just like going with the flow uh, to see what feels right. a steady hand to uh, to draw this you know unfortunately this is a hand that I draw with that was a joke from uh, blazing saddles <laughs> Normally a piece like this will take me about a week just from inking uh, because it really just tires you out. I mean, uh, I realize as you know, uh, as I get older, my hand tend to cramp up. So when you get tired, that's when you start making all the mistakes. So when I feel like I'm getting tired, that's when I stop and take a break. So there you go, just ink the shelf, I mean a sleeve, 
So, um, we're going to stop here for now because I just want to make sure that uh, the camera recorded all of this. Uh, if not, then, uh, well, should out of luck that. So anyway, so I'm still figuring out the camera. So this was a quick demonstration. Uh, next time, I will have a more longer demonstration. All right. See you guys soon.